Oh man, I hate that. I hate that contextual through the legs, boy. Great save. He'll get the interception. What a save, Dada! Oh man. At the bottom of his... Yes, finally. What a goal. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another video. So today, we are going to be talking about what I want to see fixed for V2.3.2. So... Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of gameplay changes. I don't think we're going to get a massive amount of content, but I want to go through this video and basically just have a chat about a couple of the things that I've been, you know, getting bothered by. Now, look, when the game flows for me, man, and the connection is fine, I actually really do enjoy this game. But a lot of the time, I think, look, you're going to have stuff happen. You're going to have, you know, players not make runs and players not finish shots. That's just online gaming, man. I never really complain about these clips that you're seeing here. You know, I'm being able to spread the ball around. I'm able to run. I'm able to pass. I'm able to dribble. Connection is fine. Obviously, you're always going to get a bit of lag depending on the servers and depending on your opponent's speed. You know, some people play with Wi-Fi. I mean, it's it's usually around 50% of people that play with Wi-Fi. Not everyone has the luxury of playing wired. And that has to be understandable, you know. But I don't care win, lose, or draw. Anyone that's watched me will know I'm not asking to make the game, you know, more winnable for me. And like the likes of this sort of stuff, the unreactiveness for some of the players and the unresponsiveness to some of the players. I think that if the gameplay is playing fine and if the connection is fine, you will eventually get the better of your opponent. You know what I mean? Like you will eventually get the better of your opponent. If you're able to, you know, play your game, you are going to get stuff happening. Yeah. But when stuff like this is happening against you, it, it can kind of sour the experience. I mean, for you now, look, it's online. Shit like this is going to happen. Obviously that's a disaster on goal, but stuff like that is going to happen. It happens very few and far between. I know it's, it's easy to get hyper excited about stuff like that and say, Oh, this is a disgrace. But look, shit happens in online gaming, man. It's just the way it is. But for me, I think we can break this down for my main issue. Um, with the gameplay at the moment is the auto tackling and shoulder charge. And we've got three or four more things to talk about as well. So, for here, I just think that the auto tackling, man, is a huge issue because it, it limits people and their learning curve and it limits the skill gap, right? And you have to kind of use it. You know, it's it's there's no there's no really way of not using it. You know, the lack of uh, or I suppose the extra AI assistance that you that you do get, right? Like I'm all for the passing lanes and the blocking lanes and all that, but the shoulder charge and the collision system and stuff, which will roll into the next point, it just kind of turns into rugby man or UFC, where you're basically bundling into people. Like, watch here, right? You're just bundling into people. Um, there's no like real deterrent for people doing it. Yeah, sometimes they get caught, sometimes you get penalties, sometimes you get freeze and yellow cards against you, and that's fine. But there is no real deterrent for a lesser skilled player not to do this. You know what I mean? There's no real deterrent over the course of 90 minutes. I mean, there's another exactly uh exactly exactly the same situation here and now obviously the ref does blow it every now and again but I do think that that kind of takes from it now look I am going to be happy enough if the game plays fine and if it flows well because I genuinely think the core experience of this game has serious potential you know I think that the online aspect of it needs to be looked at but I think the core experience when you are able to pass the ball around you're going to see clips here and look lads I mean I call it as I see it right you are going to get me you know with my honest transparent views on it like if I think something is bad I'll say it's bad if I'm enjoying something I'm not going to apologize for enjoying something and when the game flows and when you can you know pass the ball where you want to pass it when your players move where you want them to move, when the AI um, is predictable and you're able to kind of, you know, use it like this, you can absolutely have a brilliant time playing eFootball 2023. I think I've had more fun playing this game than I did with PES 2018, 19 or 20 or 2021 online, apart from co-op. But yeah, when you can have your left stick dribbling, when the connection is fine, when you're able to get your shots off, the game is fun, man. Definitely. I think that the game is fun. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can, you know, do some nice dribbling. You can, like, look at this move from Messi. This is just absolutely top class that I just don't think you're going to get in other sports games where you can just have that little flick of the, of the, the left stick and it's a penalty. And then, of course, the shooting again, right? With epic Messi coming to the fore. Like, I do really, really enjoy this game when it flows well, man. But when it doesn't flow well, which we'll get to at the end of the video, 
it is very, very, very hard. Like it's a very, very hard game to um, to stay playing when they, when it's not flowing for you. The responsiveness is off. The inputs off. The connections off. You know. Then you're coming up against cheaters, which have kind of reared their ugly head again. But also talking about the collision system, which we mentioned earlier about the shoulder charge. Just watch these couple of clips here and let me know what you think, right? Because this has been an issue that was not part of I don't think the last update that was there. It's kind of crept back in with this slide tackle. They did have um, this kind of fixed from the games I had played. And it does seem to have kind of slipped back in now again over the last week or so. Maybe I'm just seeing it. Um, but again, here you're going to see a very similar situation. Like I, This is what I'm talking about. I absolutely rinse Mings here. And you can see that the AI gets back and helps him. But not only that, it looks like the AI actually fouls me. Like he goes through me. The ball kind of bobbles in a weird way. And then the ball is cleared and it's no penalty. Now, maybe that's kind of like a, a difficult one to call. Um, but it goes back to, you know, me saying with the collision system, it is very handholdy. Now, also as well, we have the input and player response. I definitely need to see this fix, man. This is an issue when you are, you know, in the thick of it. Balls bobbling past you. Um, and this can culminate in, in very big issues when you are on the attack and get caught in the counter. Like I get caught in the counter there. There's nothing really I can do there. I'm trying to do everything possible. And then what happens is the passing, you know, is another issue here where you're getting the, in the way of the ball and it still just finds a way to get a shot on target. You know, it's just the way that the, the AI sets up at the back. You can see here again, like, look at this. You know, I've got the ball cleared and the ball just goes to Mbappe. And that is the collision system, not recognizing that, you know, I should have a free there. I know it doesn't look like a free on uh, screen, but in terms of Mbappe is actually impeding me from actually clearing the ball there. The collision system needs a lot of work, man. And also the input, I'm not able to target the players that I want to target sometimes. It results in a really good chance. Goalkeeper parries it out and then Haaland gets over me. And I think this is controlled with the last point that I have of the connection, right? The connection, I think, is this single-handedly, because Dream Team is the only mode really that you can play, right? That was meant to be a first-time clearance there. This again, first time pass works that way. Brilliant. Get it into Messi. Now I'm playing against this guy and the connection was just absolutely horrible. I don't know, was he doing something? I don't know, was he, um, you know, like had a really bad connection. But for me, it was practically unplayable. Like look at this for defending for me. He just absolutely goes past me. I, I literally could not turn up a Meccano. And you'll see it time and time again. Look at that. Mbappe goes the opposite way. Eventually the ball gets out. And what happens is when the connection, right? When people say you made this mistake, or you should have passed here you should have passed there like for this instance right this is the exact same match right people will say i make a mistake here but what happens is is you can't actually pass the button the button does not register in that split second and it looks like i'm making a mistake but if you've not played enough of eFootball, then you won't understand why i'm trying to say it. it's the same as here you can see the power bar you can see what i'm trying to clear it and it just doesn't work and this is the this is when you come up against a bad connection everything just takes you know a complete crash like everything just now this is a good finish don't doubt that but it's that i literally cannot control my players right now we will finish on a very positive one i as i said lads there's a lot to love about this game. There's a lot to really enjoy about this game. Like, look at this. This is one of my best goals that I've scored. Absolute beautiful ball in, and it's a beautiful goal. There is a lot to love about it. But yeah, they, those are the things I need fixed, man. The collision system, the input, the responsiveness, and the connection, man. We need more than just a four-bar connection because sometimes I'm playing four-bar matches and they feel literally like one-bar matches. I don't know. I did come up against a couple of cheaters. I actually have a video coming out where I spoke to a cheater and he explained, you know, why he was cheating, how he was doing it. It'll be an interesting video to see. But that's few and far between, man. Mostly, you know, 90% of games I've played since way back with the V0.9 beta have been very enjoyable. But when you get one of those games that come up, it is very, very difficult to stay playing it. You know, I actually don't anymore now. I just quit. If I'm not enjoying myself, I'm not going to waste my time, you know, that I have to actually sit down and enjoy the game. I'll just take my losses and say, yeah, you know, chalk it up to a bad connection and then move on. You know, because at the end of the day, if you're not having play fun playing video games, then, you know, what's the point? That's the way I look at it. So that is it for me, lads. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll end it there. 
as I said, there is still massive hope for this and potential for this. I would like to see him go back to V1.0 a little bit. I felt the possession suited me more playing it that way and the lack of hand holding on the defense was a little bit better. But until next time, let me know what you guys want fixed. I am going to be doing a survey type feedback uh, video quite soon as well. And we will have more details on that or what it's going to be for. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you want fixed. Do you agree with any of my points? Do you disagree with any of my points? Do you want to add anything to it? And yeah, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.